Hi friends, this is Nimal Patel from Raksha Education and today in this video guys, we are going to learn all the addition math tricks just on one video. At the end of the video, you'll be able to solve this question or this question or this question or these questions just in one second without using calculator but without using pen and paper as well instantly in your mind so guys additions you may require in many different situations like your competitive exams for learning your academics in school at the same time so many times in our real life situation as well so this is going to benefit you in everything so guys let's get started hi friends you can see simple questions here what we want to do in the starting is we don't want to use our basic method of addition that's what we generally use and we are going to learn the new way of thinking if you can make the habit of new way of thinking then any harder question you'll be able to solve instantly without pen and paper even all right so let us say generally if it is a 50 plus 60 we do like 0 plus 0 equal to 0 5 plus 6 equal to 11 but that's not something we want to do. So what we want to do is we're going to just make it a habit. We're going to learn it. When we look at the number, our mind thinks and gives the answer instantly. So let us say if it is a 50 plus 60, 110. 70 plus 80, 150. 50 plus 70, 120. 80 plus 60, 140. If you do a little bit of a practice, you won't believe, but your mind will be able to do instantly. No basic mathematics. And then after you can do the complex questions very nicely and easily as well. Now, friends, we will learn one next level question. The condition is, guys, when we are doing the questions, do work and practice with me. Let us say 58 plus 60. Definitely, we are not going to do with our basic methods. For 58 plus 60, 58 just for the first question guys i'm showing it to you everything we are going to do in our mind guys yeah so 58 we can split like 50 plus 8 and then after guys you know 50 plus 60 is 110 plus 8 118 done guys so this is how we are going to do other questions you can also do in your mind guys 76 70 plus 6, yeah? 70 plus 80, 150, and then 6, 156. Instantly, guys. One second. All right? 59, 50 plus 9. 50 plus 70, 120, and 9, 129. Is it not cool, guys? Yeah? 87 plus 50. 80 plus 50, 130, and then 7, 137. So we can see, guys, once we learn the new way of doing additions, guys, it becomes super super quick friends many time you need to find out the gap of 100 and any two digit number definitely you all can do that in two seconds three seconds but today i'm going to teach you the way you can do find out this gap in half a second if you're finding out the gap in one second still you are taking more time if you learn this technique and practice it half a second is good enough to find out the gap of 100 and any two digit number so what is the technique? Whatever is your first number, you're going to add up the number to make 9. So 4 plus what makes 9? 4 plus 5 makes 9. And the second number, you're going to add up something to make 10. 3 plus what makes 10? 3 plus 7 makes 10. So that's my answer. I'm going slow so you can understand the things. Yeah, 4 plus what makes 9? 3 plus what makes 10? So first number, you're going to add up something to get 9. Second number, you go to add up something to 10. Now we are doing in a super quicker way. Are you ready, guys? You can do with me, yeah? So 6, I only need 9, so 3, and 10, so 3. 9, so 4, 10, so 6. 9, so 6, 10, so 3. And I'm done, guys. So if you really practice, guys, I can tell you in a half a second, quarter a second, you can find out the gap of any two-digit number with 100. Friends, if you want to find out, one number is given in 20s. What number you should add to get the 50s? So if you don't get the answer 50 and the number given in 20s, one thing is very, very obvious, guys. Your answer will also be in 20s. So what is the things when the question is given in 20s? 
answer is 50, your answer will also come in 20. So straight on guys, you can just put down 20. So two, 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 two. Yeah. Now the second number guys, you go to C and check what makes it 10. So three, then seven, seven, then three, four, then six, six, then four, you're done guys. So you can see like guys, these techniques, if you have it, you can be go super, super quick. Now friends, anytime, if you're gonna add 90 in any number, what is the best way of doing? We are not going to do in you know, our like a normal way, like zero plus six is zero, or nine plus seven equal to no, no, no. Directly, instantly. So whenever you are adding 90, what is the best thing to do is, so for the first question, I'm going to show it to you. Then for all three questions, you can do the things with me. All right. So 90 is what? 100 minus 10. Is it not guys? Yeah. So what we are going to do is, in first 26, we are going to add 100. Then we are going to minus 10. Add 100 minus 10. Now adding 100 is so easy guys. 576 plus 100, 676. And 676 minus 10, 666. Can you see, so you can get it instantly. I'm going slow for the first question, so you can understand. Now the second question, I'm very sure guys, you'll be doing faster than me, yeah? So 632 plus 100, 732 minus 10 which is 722. So directly you can put down the answer, yeah? 345 plus 100, 445 minus 10 is going to be 435. 976 plus 100, 1076 minus 10, 1066. So by this method, guys, you can do the things directly, guys. Friends, after practicing some basic skills and some easy questions, now we are going to solve some good questions, guys. So let's say 526 plus 197 or 632 plus 293 uh, uh, or other questions, guys, instantly in one second, guys. But what is the way of thinking? How we can do that mentally? I'm going to show it to you. So I'm going to show like first question slowly. You can understand like what we are doing, what is the process. Then from the second question, you can start working with me or the best option is even before me and you can check your answers with me. Yeah. So here like 576 plus 197. So you can see like 197 is very close to 200. So other than 197, I can replace this with 200 minus 3. Now 576 plus 200, which is 776. 576 plus 200 is 776 and 3 minus, which is 773. I'm doing slow so you can understand. Is it making good sense, guys? Yeah. So I'm splitting 197 into 200 minus 3. 576 plus 200 is 776. Minus 3 is 773. Is good. So now 632 plus 293. What we can split? 293. How? 300 minus 7. Now 632 plus 300. 932 and 932 minus 7, 925 directly. And guys, everything you got to do in your mind. I'm just splitting here so you can see what am I doing. But here you can do without splitting as well. Let's do that without writing anything. Let's say 596. What am I going to do? 600 minus 4. Everything in mind. 600 minus 4. Now 345 plus 600, which is 945. Minus 4, which is 941. Direct answer. No splitting required on pen and paper, guys. Yeah? So anytime if you go to store, they're saying, hey, you're buying one item of 345, another item of 596. Now, you don't have pen and paper. If you want to check how much you're going to pay, you can do that mentally, guys. Other one like 976 plus 398. Everything in the mind. 398, 400 minus 2. Now, 976 plus 400, which is 1,376 minus 2, which is 1,374. So guys, all these questions you can just do directly. Now here, friends, we are going to learn one another new technique of addition. So if you are adding 65 plus 67, 44 plus 49, 174 plus 179, or 228 plus 235, I can use this. If you look at those numbers properly, guys, what you can see, both numbers, you want to add it, they are close to each other. Look, 65, 67, they are close. 44, 49, they are close. 
174, 179, they are also close. And 228, 235 also close. So when the two numbers you want to add it up are close to each other, then you can use a new technique. That's what like we are going to discuss now. So in that case, guys, you can just get the smaller number first. What is the smaller number? 65. Just double it. So whatever is the smaller number, you can times it by 2. So 65 times 2 is going to be 130. And then you look at the difference, guys. 65 and 62. 67. What is the difference? The difference is 2. So that difference, you can just plus it. And that's 132 is your answer. So what you're going to do is, smaller number, multiply by 2, make it double, and add the difference, guys. So here, you can do it directly, one, guys. Can you see, like, 44 is the smaller number. What is the double? 88. The difference is 5. 88 plus 5 is 93. So direct answer, you can put it down, guys. Here, 174, 179. So 174 double. So like 17 double is 34 and 4 double is 8. So 174 double is 348 and the difference is going to be 5 which I can plus it and which answer I'm going to get is 353. So you can get that answers directly guys, yeah? Now 228, 235. Which is my smaller number? 228. What will be the double guys? 200 double 400. 28 double 56, so that is 456. And what is the difference? So 228, 235 difference is 7, which I can just add it up. And if I get the answer, that's going to be 463. So whenever the numbers are very close to each other, smaller number times 2, and you can add the difference, guys. Friends, one another cool way of addition technique is like 45 plus 54. So can you see what kind of a numbers we have? 45. So they are flipping 54. 32, 23. 35, 5, 3. So what is the number? If they are flipping, guys, we do have one super cool method, guys. Like 3, 8, 8, 3, like that. Or 8, 6, 6, 8, or whatever the number, guys. Yeah? So if this is the number we need to add, guys, the cool method is... Just add them up like 4 plus 5. What is 4 plus 5? 9. Whatever the addition you get is always multiply by 11, guys. Always multiply by 11. That's your answer. So 9 times 11, 99. Done. What do they add? 3 plus 2? 5. Always multiply by 11. So 5 times 11? 55. Done, guys. 35, 53. What is 3 plus 5? 8. 8 times 11? 88. Done. 3 plus 8, 11. 11 times 11, 121. So you can see, guys, all these things you can get in a super cool way. Another question, let's see if I want to do it like uh, 68 and 86. You can see we can make it up as well. And 6 plus 8 is going to be 14. 14 times 11. So 14 times 11. Now, 11 technique, we know, guys, 1, 4, we can put down 5 in the middle, yeah? So, 154. So, guys, anything, when these numbers are flipped here, add them, multiply by 11, and instantly, in half a second, one second, you can get the answer, guys. Friends, here also, these questions, we are going to solve in a super quick way, in a wonderful way. If you want to do in a, like, a natural approach or basic method, 56 plus 65, it's time consuming. What are the answer get you? Again, 35, a lot of time. Again, 44, they can take your six, seven, eight seconds, guys. But we want to do these questions instantly. So the approach is we are going to develop eagle's eye, guys. We are going to look for the numbers which adds up to 100. So we are not going to do like first and second number, second and third number now. What we are going to look is in the first one, is there... Any two numbers which add up to 100, have a look, guys. Have a look. Can you find out? Oh, yes. 65 plus 35. Are they not 100? So 65 plus 35, they are 100, guys. What about 56 and 44? Oh, they also add up to 100, guys. Yeah. So they are also 100. Now 100 plus 100, 200. I'm done. Can you see, guys? Yeah. If you have a more creative approach, if you've got an eye for detail, you can solve the questions very quickly in a very simple way, guys, in maths, yeah? Second question. 
you will try to have the same thing is there. So is there any other, any two numbers which add up to 100 guys, any number? How about 76 and 24? Will it make 100? Yes. That's correct, isn't it? 38 and 62, they also make 100. So my answer is 200. So is it just wrong? Let's do the third question, guys. Here, can you find out any two numbers which is adding 100? So you can see like all 53 and 47. Yeah, so they add up to 100, so that's done. Now 78 plus 89. Ah, 78 plus 89 does not make 100, but does not matter, guys. We can solve it. How? Look, 70 plus 80, 150, which we know it is. Yes. And then 8 plus 9 is 17. So 150 plus 17 is 167. And 167 plus 100 is 267. So whenever you work with a creativity, guys, a lot of questions you can do in an easier way. So that makes 100. If that doesn't make 100, but we do have other technique, yeah? 70 plus 80, 150. 8 plus 9, 17. 150 plus 17, 167. Plus 100, 267. So still, guys, in one or two seconds, you can correct that question as well. Friends, hope you like this video and learn some new ways of doing addition, guys. If you really like it, Put down in the comment guys, what do you like about the video? Please share with your friends so more people can learn new tricks as well. If you did not subscribe to the channel guys, subscribe to the channel so you can watch more math tricks like this guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.